Interesting breakout. Interesting breakdown. Last week's video, really long. I know. I promise to be brief this week. Hello, this is Michael Loftus, Loftus Wall Strategies. Welcome to our latest weekly video for Friday ending October the 7th. Last week, negative across the board, but still positive year to date. S&P holding at 5.37, Dow 4.8, and NASDAQ at 5.69, now the leader. Reviewing the news, for those who all think that I'm a bear, let me start off with this one. Strategist Jim Paulson, gear up for the longest recovery ever. I think there's a global recovery or a global bounce happening that I think will help spur optimism again. Yes, Jim is the perennial bull. So there are a lot of people out there that are very positive, but let's balance that out, shall we? Worries deepen that globalization is hitting the skids. In this next article from, uh, from the journal, international trade this year will grow at the slowest rate since 2000 and seven okay so next up let's get right to the charts this week i'm going to be uh pretty quick as i'd mentioned first off let's talk about our breakout oil oil has gone above the 200 now is really sustained above the 50 day can it continue to go higher we'll see i know a lot of people are talking about 60 dollar oil we're in that 50 range right now which is a pretty significant breakout you see the momentum breaking out as well. Breakdown on the other side is gold. Gold was, and still is, uh, has been one of the top trades this year. Early into the year, uh, it is still very much positive, outperforming the overall markets. But we had a big breakdown last week, going through its 50 and 200 all in the last week. We will continue to watch that. I think a lot of that, both of these trades have a lot to do with the dollar okay the dollar strengthening so we'll see what happens uh, in the next couple weeks and the impact there next up our s p chart again nothing has changed we're still stuck in that little spot right there we have our bullish trend from february still intact okay the next chart i'm going to show and i'm going to get a little bit more into this is the s p Okay, as we go back into 2013, the box. This is the box that we've been stuck in. This is the frustration that I'm starting to hear from clients about being sideways, and this really confirms that, as will the next chart. Sure, we see that bullish uh, trend from February, but that box started you know, from its highs and lows and been pretty much stuck in that area. So uh, understand the frustration. It is really a directionless market. Sooner or later, we will have a breakout or breakdown. Going to bring this chart back in from a few weeks ago, showing earnings and the S&P. Earnings season started last week. Not, not really any big names yet so far. Eh, right? We talked about having six. This will be the sixth straight quarter of declining earnings. The, the, when you look at the chart, the S&P is at the top. And the straight line is earnings, gap earnings, okay? Generally accepted accounting principles, pure earnings, and you see that trend there, which is not very good. So our earnings have gone straight down, yet the market has gone straight up. Last week, I showed this chart, the NYSE. Why? I wanted to show a broader view. You know, when I go and look at CNBC, Fox Business, you name it, they all lead with what? The Dow. 30 stocks, S&P 500, 500 of the largest stocks, right? Large cap only. And then, of course, the NASDAQ, which is the uh, more the technology side, okay? The NYSE, and last week I had a lot of stuff on here, but this time you can see it. This is the broader index. It's 2,500 companies, so we're not going to have just large companies in here. All right, so when you look at this, there's a couple things I will bring back from last week. Number one, we are in the exact same point we were in March of 2014. That is a flat market. Also, 
this chart versus the S&P, much more prominent this week when you can see it, with the clean chart, we're in a downtrend. We are still in a downtrend, okay? And until we break above that, we're going to be in a downtrend. This chart will really come together with market breadth that I talked about, or lack of market breadth when you see it right here. Because we have not broken out to all-time highs, okay, in this chart, the broader market, okay? Next up, let's see what our next chart is. My paper is stuck here. We're going to close out with fear and greed. Uh, is up a little bit this week, a little more neutral at 53. Our indicators, short-term, mid-term, long-term indicators all still show green, okay? I have mentioned that our short-term indicator has slowly deteriorated. We are now down one this week from last week and within one point of a short-term reversal. We will follow that. If we do get it, we'll let everybody know what it is, why, and what the implications are. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, give us a call. Check out our website, any of our social media platforms. This is Michael Loftus, Loftus Wall Strategies. Thank you so much for watching. Make it a great week.